out of those 16 girls on my rotation, I'm very, I know about all their lives. I'm very close with them. We go out for dinners. We go out and do stuff. We go on dates. It's not just all like pure physical, okay? And if it's pure physical, a lot of girls aren't okay with that. And you also shouldn't be okay with that because but you want to be connecting with people. Like you want to be having nice, rich interactions, okay? It's going to enhance your life in many, in many ways on many levels, okay? Hey everybody, this is John Anthony, and today we are talking about being a gentleman. Okay, you've heard this from your mother, you've heard this from Disney movies. The story usually goes like this, okay? You need to hold the door for the girl, you need to bring her flowers, you need to get down on one knee and make grand romantic gestures, okay? I'm going to teach you in this video the correct alpha high value way to be a gentleman and why you should be a gentleman. Before we go any further, please press the subscribe button below. Make sure you press the notification bell. That will alert you to my new videos Sunday through Thursday, okay? So the big important distinction to cover in this video is you have the pussy, beta, nice guy, loser, low value loser, okay, that's being a gentleman, versus the high value, cool, alpha dude that's being a gentleman, okay? What is the difference? If you haven't already seen my video on beta males versus alpha males, make sure you check that out. I'll place the link in the corner. That goes over an extreme beta male versus an extreme alpha male and how you can tell the difference and how you can adjust to embody the alpha characteristics. So the important thing here is where is it coming from? Is it coming from a place of trying to win this girl over, trying to gain points, okay, trying to be in good favor with this woman or is it coming from the place of I have this woman no matter what I am her alpha leader I am a rock I am this high value thing in her life that she you know is drawing all this value from that she is so lucky and so happy to be with okay a lot of guys think and this is how I used to be as well in college I used to have the mindset that if I buy this girl flowers, she will like me more. If I take her out to dinner, she will like me more. If I get her chocolates, <laughs> like looking back, it's like ridiculous. She will like me more. And even if she was being like bitchy or out of control, it didn't matter. Okay, I didn't want to get in a conflict with her. I didn't want to call her out on those things because I didn't want to lose her. Okay, so it's coming from the wrong place. So most of these romantic gestures and gentlemanly type things are coming from the wrong place. Guys are doing them because they're a pussy and they're afraid of losing the girl or they think they must do these things in order to keep the girl, okay? Instead, it should be coming from the place of, I am a high value guy, I get girls like you all the time. It's not a big deal that you are my rotation girl or my girlfriend or my wife or whatever it may be. And you are just doing those things because you enjoy her being part of your life, right? Are you nice to your best friend? Yes, of course you are. Why are you nice to him? He provides value to your life. You enjoy him being your life, okay? So you do nice things for him. He does nice things for you. So the frame you should be coming from as the alpha, cool, high value guy is that you, this girl's part of your life and you treat girls in your life well, okay? I advocate that you should, you know, be really nice to these girls that you're seeing, okay? I'm seeing 16 girls regularly right now in Poland. I typically run six to 12 girl rotations. It's a little big right now, but I will do nice things for these girls, meaning I will open the door to the cab, okay? I will hold the door if we're coming into a restaurant or leaving a restaurant, okay? I will help her put her coat on. I'm just like naming things as they come to mind. Um, I will call them an Uber home, okay? Like a taxi. I will say, do you need a taxi home, okay? I will walk them to the taxi. They appreciate these things and it's not coming from a place of like I'm trying to get something or I'm trying to, you know, keep, retain her or keep her or anything like this or, or win her over or anything. It's coming from a place of I value in my life and I'm going to do these nice things with you. So I also take them to dinner. Now lots of these guys studying pickup and seduction, they're like never take a girl to dinner. Like it's a rule. You can't take a girl to dinner because then she's going to view you as a provider and she's going to you know, be using you for meals and, and using you, so never buy a girl food. That's ridiculous, okay? I've been with over a thousand girls now and I know lots of other guys that have slept with multiple hundred girls and we take the girls to dinner. It's not a big deal. And I'm not taking her to dinner 
as a strategy to keep her around. I'm not taking her to dinner because she's hot. I'm not taking to her to dinner to be a provider. Here's the difference. I'm taking her to dinner because I like to share a meal and a nice glass of wine with an attractive chick and it's just something I would do anyways. Okay, I would go to a dinner with a guy friend, not in a romantic way, but I would go to a dinner just because I enjoy eating out at a nice restaurant, right? So I like Italian food, so I'll often invite a girl, let's go for Italian food, not on the first date. The first date is usually coffee or drinks, okay? And then lots of times on the second and third date, I will invite them for a dinner and we can build more of a romantic connection. But girls I'm seeing regularly, it's very common that we will get dressed up and go for a nice dinner, okay? Or we will go to a concert or we will go to whatever and I will pay. And that doesn't mean I'm a provider. It doesn't mean I'm a fucking sugar daddy. It doesn't mean that I'm getting punked or, you know, guys are like ridiculous with this stuff. They think they draw a very clear line in the sand where they're like, this girl asked me to buy her an Uber to come to my house. And I told her no, because I didn't want to be a provider. And then they fucking lose the girl. Why? Because the girl's like, this guy's a fucking cheap piece of shit, right? This guy's an asshole. And I'm not saying you should always do what they want involving money. That's not the point. The point is that doesn't make you a provider, okay? But the first date should be coffee or it should be drinks and it should be light and casual, okay? And then from there, you can get into more romantic things. If you like the girl, you can invest more, okay? But the point of going out to dinner with a girl, for instance, is like the most common one that I do, isn't to win her over. It's not to show that you have money. It's not to be a provider. None of those things. It's simply to enjoy a nice time out, okay? And when I take the girl to dinner, I will open the cab door for her. I will open the restaurant door for her. When the waiter comes over, I will say, go ahead, babe, like let her order first, okay? And these are like old school, like it's what your mom would fucking tell you. Like this is how a lady wants to be treated. <clears throat> and I'm all for being a gentleman and treating them how they want to be treated. My uncle, who I've referenced in various videos, who's dated lots of women, he's like the ultimate natural in my eyes and I've learned a lot of stuff from him. He says, like, treat a girl like a princess until she fucks up, okay? Until she like pulls some bullshit on you and that can come in any shape or size, okay, in any form. Once she pulls bullshit on you, you want to call her out and assert your boundary and express disapproval with this action and be willing to possibly walk away depending on the severity or the frequency of the offense, okay? Watch my video on having boundaries as a man to understand more fully about that concept about how you assert the boundary. But until then, he's like, treat them good. Like, treat them like a princess, but don't be a pussy. Okay, that's the big thing I want you guys to get out of this video. Treating a girl well and doing nice things for her because you care about her is much different than doing nice things for her because you feel like you need to win points or you need to like make up for value that you're lacking or that you need to do such and such in order to compete with other guys that are high value or you need to spend money in order to like be in the races with this girl, you know, whatever it may be. Those are all the wrong places to come from. Do nice things for the girl and treat her nice because you want to, because you care about her. It's really that simple, okay? Have a nice conversation with her. Be willing to have dates even that don't involve sex. Like say she's like, hey babe, like I'd love, say she's really busy all week and she's like, I have Thursday available, um, but only for an hour, right? Sometimes I'm cool with just going and meeting them for lunch. All right, and a lot of guys be like, well, we're not having sex, so why would I waste my time? It's like, if you care about this girl, you should enjoy talking with her, you should enjoy spending time with her, okay? Yeah, I would love to have sex with her as well, but if she only has this hour free, maybe we can go and fucking grab lunch instead of just having her come over and bang and leave, okay? Sometimes I want her to just come over and bang and leave. Okay, I'm not saying I don't, but that shouldn't be like the be all end all. That shouldn't be like the main focus that overrides everything. Okay? And they're gonna pick up on the fact that you genuinely care about them and you genuinely enjoy spending time with them. Now being nice with them and actually getting to know them will help you in a lot of ways. Okay? A lot of girls don't wanna feel like a piece of meat. A rookie mistake, which is extremely common even amongst advanced guys at seduction, is that they will just treat the girl like a piece of meat. And the girls pick up on that really quickly. Okay? If you are just inviting her over to fuck and then leave, she's going to start to feel you know, like a piece of meat. And they will explicitly tell you that. And I've gone through phases in the game 
where I was doing that with girls and then they're like, hey, you, you're treating like a piece of meat. And I'm like, oh yeah, fuck, you're right. Okay, so don't just see them as a sexual object. Like you should, and th this isn't just like, oh, you know, treat them like a person so you can bang them more and keep them around longer. Okay, like that's part of it, <laughs> but you should, <laughs> you should also want to be connecting with them. Okay, because it can be like a fulfilling, enriching thing. Like I enjoy hearing about the girls I'm seeing. I enjoy hearing about their lives, helping them with different struggles in their life. Like say some guy's bothering them, I'll fucking, you know, talk to the guy for them or go like tell the guy like to fuck off. Say they need help with their work. Okay, like in Poland, like girls need their fucking English proofread for their companies and stuff like that or whatever advice they have, they need on life or, you know, they have like a problem in their life. I'm like, hey baby, you should try doing such and such. Like you should want to connect, like open up and be on a different level with them where you're like connecting with them. Okay, they're gonna appreciate that. It's gonna make all your relationships much stronger. Like I hear from a lot of PUA coaches, seduction coaches, they're like, I don't like talking to these girls or I don't like doing things that are non-sexual with these girls. That's ridiculous. Out of those 16 girls on my rotation, I'm very, I know about all their lives. I'm very close with them. We go out for dinners. We go out and do stuff. We go on dates. It's not just all like pure physical, okay? And if it's pure physical, a lot of girls aren't okay with that. And you also shouldn't be okay with that because the sex can be a lot better when you're emotionally connected. And not just that, but you wanna be connecting with people. Like you wanna be having nice, rich interactions, okay? It's gonna enhance your life in many, in many ways on many levels, okay? A lot of pickup coaches, I know they won't take a girl to dinner or they won't even like go down on a girl. They're like, I'm the man, like I'm, I should just be getting blowjobs. Like I'm not gonna ever eat a girl's pussy out. It, it's the same principle. <laughs> it's like, for the same reason they're not gonna be a gentleman to the girl, it's the same reason they wouldn't go down on a girl, all right? I want the girl to be happy. I want her to tell me about her life. I want to go down on her to make her feel pleased and fulfilled sexually, okay? And by the same token, lots of these dating coaches, they won't even do more than one date if the girl doesn't put out. For me, I enjoy going on the dates because I enjoy learning about the girl, I enjoy spending time with the girl, okay? Not to sound all fucking like pussy pussy, like, oh, you know, like, tell me more about your life and all this stuff, I don't care about having sex. Yeah, of course I love to bang these girls, but if I'm out with like a nine, for instance, a nine out of 10, and she looks beautiful and stunning and she's telling me all about her life and I suggest we go back to my place after to have a drink and she's like, no, I'd prefer we wait till next time or like, no, that's not my style. I'm not gonna like stop seeing that girl. Okay, I had an advanced friend once that was like, dude, like if you enjoy hanging out with the girl, like who cares how many times it takes to bang the girl? Like you're, you're having fun, you're having a good time. Like, do you wanna like give up the opportunity to lose that girl for months or like years potentially? Like, say she takes like three dates to have sex, right? If you give up after date one, and or you're just like getting jaded and you're like, fuck this and all this stuff and you're, you're giving her attitude because she didn't put out, then you're missing out on like months of a great time with her. And surprise, surprise, lots of the most quality, all around high value girls don't fuck on the first night because why? They're not fucking everyone, okay? They're not just a random club slut that's just fucking everyone on their, on, as soon as they go on a date, okay, they take more work. So to me, I like putting in the work with some of them and I like doing nice things for the ones that I'm already seeing. I like treating them well. And I agree with my uncle that you should treat them like a princess without being a pussy, big difference, until they fuck up, okay? And then watch my video on boundaries so you know what to do if they fuck up. But treat your girls well. This isn't some like, oh yeah, like feminism or some shit video. It's just, as a matter of, you know, being a good man, like a high value man treats his women well. Treat your women well until they fuck up, okay? And that doesn't mean, again, I don't, I don't go to the extremes, I'm not buying them flowers and chocolate and balloonograms, but I am holding doors, I am paying for meals, I am being sweet to them, okay? I tell them they look pretty, you know, be the sweet, nice guy, but be the firm, confident, cool guy, okay? Those, two things can coexist. It doesn't, need to, doesn't mean just because you're like the high value alpha guy that you need to be extremely rough around the edges and all that stuff. Subscribe if you found this helpful. Make sure you like the video, press the notification bell so you get alerted of my new videos five days a week. Thank you for tuning in. Treat your girls well. This is John Anthony. Take care.